Welcome to Baugan Inglés 4.0, the radio show with Kyle Miller. Following class by class, step by step, the material of Baugan Inglés 4.0 on Aprende Inglés TV. Clase 55. Class 55. Let's go! Beginner. Welcome. Yes, welcome, beginner students, to class 55. And we're going to start, as always, with a review of what we saw in the last class. Yesterday, we were practicing with the verb to have in the third person. So ask me if my father has a car. Does your father have a car? Yes, he does. Ask me if he has a red car. Does he have a red car? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a red car. No, he doesn't. Ask me if he has a green car. Does he have a green car? No, he doesn't. Ask me if he has a white car. Does he have a white car? No, he doesn't. Ask me what color car he has. What color? What color car does he have? He has a blue car. Well, dark blue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ask me if I have a sister. Kyle, do you have a sister? No, I don't. But I have a brother. And as you know, my brother has a house. He has a house in Malaysia. He doesn't have a house in Canada. My father has a house in Canada. He doesn't have a house in Malaysia. I have a house in Spain. I don't have a house in Malaysia. I don't have a house in Canada. Yes. Ask me if my mother has a job. Does your mother have a job? Yes, she does. She's a nurse. She has a, do a job. Ask me if my mother has a cat. Does your mother have a cat? Does she have a cat? No, she doesn't. Ask me if she has a dog. Does she have a dog? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay. Now, we can do the same in third person with a city. For example, Madrid. Does Madrid have a river? Yes, it does. The Manzanares. Yes, it does. Does it have a river? Yes, it does. Does Barcelona have a football team? Yes, it does, of course. Does Madrid have a football team? Yes, it does. Does it have a, does it have a first division football team? Yes, it does. Does it have a stadium? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Does it? Yes, it does. Does it have a, a professional hockey team, ice hockey? No, it doesn't. Does it have a professional baseball team? No, it doesn't. Does it have a professional American football team? No, it doesn't. Does it have a professional football team? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Very good. And the question, does it? Does it have? Does it have a lot of hot days? Yes, it does. Does it have a metro system? Ye a subway? Yes, it does. Does it have a good bus network? Yes, it does. Does it have a lot of restaurants? Yes, it does. Okay. Very good. Now we can practice with translation. Yes, that's right. Translation. Here we are with translation list five from your translation book, the Gimnasia Gramatical. List five. Number one. Esto es muy difícil. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. ¿Qué? ¿Inglés? No. ¿Qué va? Number two. Aquello es muy fácil. That's very easy. Okay, aquí que estamos diciendo that is, pero con la contracción. Siempre se usa contracción aquí. That's very easy. That's very easy. Number three. ¿Quién está detrás de mí? Who's behind me? Like, otra vez con la contracción. Who is, pero whose? Who's behind me? Who's behind me? Me. Detrás de mí. Behind me. Detrás. 
Behind. Who's behind me? ¿Quién está detrás de mí? Who's behind me? Very good. Él está en aquella habitación. He's in that room. He's in that room. He's in that room. Very good. Number five. Esto es para mí. This is for me. This is for me. Aquello es para ti. That's for you. That's for you. Tu nombre es muy largo. Your name is very long. Name. Cerrando la boca con la M. Name. Your name is very long. Your name is very long. Your name is very long. Very. Very, no. Very. Otra vez. Very long. Your name is very long. Good. Number eight. Soy de Inglaterra. I'm from England. I'm from England. Y número nueve. Number nine. Mi hermana es de España. My sister is from Spain. My sister is from Spain. Number ten. ¿Dónde está el camión azul? Where's the blue truck? Where's the blue truck? Very good. Number eleven. Está detrás del edificio. Edificio. Disculpa. Está detrás del edificio. Detrás de. Behind. Entonces, it's behind the building. It's behind the building. Where's the blue truck? It's behind the building. Está detrás del edificio. ¿Dónde está el camión azul? Está detrás del edificio. Where's the blue truck? It's behind the building. Number 12. Estoy delante de ti. I'm, I'm in front of you. I'm in front of you. Delante de ti. In front of. I'm in front of you. Está detrás del edificio. It's behind the building. Estoy delante de ti. I'm in front of you. I'm, I'm, I'm in front of you. I'm Canadian. I'm Kyle. I'm in front of you. Estoy delante de ti. I'm in front of you. I'm speaking on the radio. I'm speaking English. Okay? Very good. Word of the day. Yes, it's time for our word of the day. Yes, the word of the day today is... ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Colina. Hill. 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 Hay que mover mucho aire. Hill. Hill. Gil no vale. Gil no. No es como la, la, la J de jamón. No, no, no. Hill. Hill. Hill, hill, hill. Tres veces. Hill, hill, hill. Okay. The double L in English is pronounced just like a normal L. Hill. Not he, but hill. Okay. Hill, hill. Very good. And now we can practice a bit more with the third person. A little more review. So first, ask me, pregúntame, ask me if Canada has a subway system, a metro system, a subway system. Kyle, does Canada have a subway system? Yes, it does. Toronto. Toronto has a subway system. Ask me if Toronto has a good bus network. Well, ask me if it, we know that we're talking about Toronto. Ask me if it has a good bus network. Kyle, does it have a good bus network? Yes, it does. It has a good bus network. Ask me if it has a good subway. Does it have a good subway? Yes, it has a good subway. Ask me if it has a professional football team. Kyle, football... Uh, like European football, soccer. In North America, we say soccer. 
Ask me if it has a soccer team. Kyle, does it have a soccer team? Yes, it does. It has a soccer team. Yes, it does. Toronto FC. Yeah, Toronto Football Club. Yes. They play in the same, in in, in Major League Soccer. Well, I, th- I think they call it the, the Major League of Soccer or Major League Soccer uh, against teams such as the Los Angeles Galaxy, which is where Beckham plays. So Beckham sometimes goes to Toronto to play against Toronto FC. Toronto is a nice city. Ask me if it has a lot of people. Does it have a lot of people? Yes, it does. It has about, about, around 3 million people. Not as big as Madrid. Not quite as big as Madrid. Mm. Ask me if it has an art gallery. Does it have an art gallery? Yes, it does. Ask me if it has a baseball team. Does it have a baseball team? Yes, it does. Ask me if it has an, a Canadian football team. Que es otra vez distinto. Canadian football. It's, a, it's similar to American football, but a little bit different. I would love to talk about Canadian football, but we only have six and a half minutes left, and I need much more time than that. If you want information about Canadian football, you can look on Wikipedia or look on the internet anywhere in Canadian football and you will find plenty of information. It's a great game. Very exciting. Very fun game to watch. Canadian football. Yeah. So ask me if Toronto has a Canadian football team. Hey, Kyle. Oye, Kyle. Kyle, does Toronto have a Canadian football team? Of course, yes. Yes, of course it does. Ask me if it has a hockey team. Does it have a hockey team? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, of course. Yes, it does. Okay. Very good. Oh, uh, does, does, um, does Zapatero have a lot of friends? Yes, he does, I suppose. Does Barcelona have a football team? Yes, it does. Um, does your car have a stereo? Yes, it does. Does your car have a stereo? Yes, it does. Does it have a refrigerator? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, he does. Zapatero, does he have a lot of friends? Yes, he does. Does he have a house in China? No, he doesn't. All right. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it's time now for our vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word, leche. Milk. Milk. This is easy. No, muy fácil. Leche. Milk. Milk. Pero no es milk. Milk. No, no, no. Milk. L, L. E, E, E. E, Elk. Milk. 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 Do you drink milk? Yes, I do. Did you drink milk last year? Yes, I did. Did you drink milk when you were 10 years old? Yes, I did. Will you drink milk tomorrow? Yes, I will. Very good. Página. Page. 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 Very good. Precio. En casa, en voz alta. Price, price. Tema, subject, subject, subject. Tema, subject, yes. Is English your favorite subject? Espero que sí. I hope so. Is English your favorite subject? Yes, it's my favorite subject. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, yes. Subject, tema. Grueso, espeso. Thick. Thick. Mm. Do you like thick milkshakes? Batidos? I, th- I, I like thick chocolate milkshakes. Batidos y chocolate. I like them thick. I don't like thin milkshakes. I like thick milkshakes. Yes. Thick. 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 The TH. Sticking my tongue out. Thick. Thick. All right. 
Very good. Now the last point today. How many cars do you have? How many friends do you have? How many? Más sustantivo, más auxiliar, más sujeto, más verbo principal. En casa estás diciendo, ¿cómo? ¿Qué dices, Kyle? ¿Qué complicado? Pues no es. Es muy fácil. No lo es. No es, no es difícil. How many cars do you have? How many friends do you have? So, how many cars do you have? I have one car. Ask me how many cars my brother has. How many cars does your brother have? My brother doesn't have a car. Actually, I don't have a car either. I was lying when I said earlier, I have one car. No, 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 I don't have a car. How many books do you have? I have 12 books. How many books does your mother have? She has, she has 100 books, for example. How many tal do you have? Does he have? Okay. Very simple. Just remember, in the third person singular, does. Does. Okay. How many houses do you have? I have one house. How many computers do you have? I have one computer, Kyle. How many computers does your mother have? She has one computer. How many pencils do you have? I have one pencil, Kyle. How many pencils does your father have? My father has three pencils. How many pens do you have? I have one pen. How many pens does Alberto have? He has two pens. How many friends does your mother have? She has a lot of friends. How many friends do you have? I have a lot of friends. How many neighbors do you have? I have three neighbors. And how many neighbors does your mother have? She has four neighbors. I have, you have, he, she, it has. He has, she has, it has. Okay. How many do you have? How many problems do you have? I have two problems. I hope they aren't too bad. Okay, the problems. So how many do you have? How many cars do you have? How many houses do you have? How many, how many friends do you have? I have 30 friends. I have one car. I don't have a house in Mallorca. How many houses in Mallorca do you have? I don't have any houses in Mallorca. Okay. Very good. We will stop there because we are out of time. But we will be back tomorrow. Same time. Same place. And in fact, we will be back after this break for the intermediate class. So keep listening and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>